All right, welcome to the demo video for Ecom Turbo. So um, I don't have many demo sites because I'm consistently testing this theme and um, I use the demo sites for that. So what I'm gonna do is upload this video and take you through all of the features of this theme and how it can help you boost conversions and stuff. So there, there's, there was two main goals for this theme. Well, there's actually three. One of them is to be some simplistic, so a nice, simple, modern theme. And I actually contacted Shopify and asked them what was their um, recommendation? And they said, nice, flat, classic, just clean, right? For, for boosting conversions. Second was we obviously wanted to boost conversions. And third, we wanted to give you an element of customization without with a minimal amount of messing with any code. So basically you can change the colors of all the stuff and, and all that sort of stuff. So what we'll do is we'll start with the header and um, usual stuff you can send to your logo, you can do all that sort of stuff. But we've also added a few um, cool features so you can do that um, if they hit a background all of that good stuff but what we've actually done is we've added um, the option to um, change this a little bit so you can um, change the size of your menu if you want so we can go down to 16 um, and that will change the size of it you can also change the weight so that's the bold uh, with the bold or not you can also change the um, color of the font all right so there's We've really given you an element of customization here and we'll also change the color of the font on here and you can change the background of the sub menu. We don't have um, large menus yet. We will be bringing those out though. You can also edit all of this. You can change the text. You can change the um, color of the bar. You can get rid of the cross. You could leave the cross there, right? So the header has heaps of customizations. You can add a phone number if you like um, and you can edit that down here. Um, you can change the font size of this up here. Um, you can enable and disable divider. We put a divider there because on some people's stores it might look a little bit empty depending on how you design things. And you can also change the color of the divider. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's the um, header section. Next, um, we have the um, homepage. Um, you can move everything around. So everything can be moved around just like um, a lot of other stuff. And you can also add the usual sliders and all that sort of stuff. But what you can do is you can actually, um, we have different, so first of all, you can change the, the title here and you can change the color of that title. And you can also change the size of that title. Uh, you can enable bold, if you like, and capitalization. You can make it um, center or to the left, if you like. You can also enable hide section. So what that does is, if you work on your um, theme and you don't want to delete a section and you don't want to use it for a little bit, you can just hide that, all right? You can change the product title color, which is pretty cool. Um, you can change you can change the font size if you like. Um, that's just, just on standard right now. You can change the price color. You can change the, um, yeah, so all the price colors there. You can do price font uh, price size as well. We also have these buttons that you can edit and you can link them to cat other categories if you like. We have um, different rows so we can do f eight rows if we like, eight down. Now it probably won't show them because I don't have um, enough products in there but you can do eight rows down so if you want you can just have a nice big block beautiful home page or you can do one. Uh, one will show up here um, but you do have to make sure that you have the right amount of products in there and we can do rows um, the other way so this will bring up two like that all right so that's pretty cool we had it on four just before I think yep and um, we have different um, styles of sales tags and all that sort of good stuff right and you can edit all of this next we have um, the footer and we will be adding another another design soon right now we only have this design and um, we did have another one but, but we're currently working on that um, so the footer is once again customizable you can add your own um, the reason that um, one's down there is because of the um, size of the screen. Oh, we've also got a um, product slider as well, where all that can be edited as well. Um, you can also add um, your own payment icons. This was a request. Um, so this will be empty when you get the theme, but I have added some payment icons into the members area that you can download, okay? You can disable that, you can enable that, no problem. Um, you can change the color of the text down here. So that changes that. You can upload icons, which um, I will be adding um, icons in an icon pack in the back of the theme. So um, 
I would recommend you definitely add some icons or you're going to get this here. Um, or if you want to just um, add, if you don't want to have an icon there, just um, upload um, an image of the same color. Okay. Um, but you can also change your background and stuff. So um, I will give you some icons though that will come with the um, theme. You can also change the um, text size of all of this sort of stuff here. All right. Pretty cool. Um, then if we go down, you can change the color of the um, primary menu, which is down here. Um, you can change the color of all of these. Um, you can change all of this here, all of this text. You can um, change all of this stuff here. You can change the button color so we can change that to a red. We can change the text color to a blue if we want. Um, oh, sorry, that's not hasn't changed, has it? To a blue. Um, we can change the background, which is... Down, down here so um, you can go background color we'll do a red should change for us the computer's a bit slow and you'll have a strip down here which you can change to whatever color you want as well I know it looks a bit weird right now but you would obviously have your own color coordinations um, so you can change that strip if you like um, we've we've given you the option to customize it um, really kind of like give it your own feel because you know when you download a theme usually it's all the same stuff it's all the same you can't do much customizations and, like, and all that sort of stuff right so that's why we've done this um and you can also um enable disable phone number you can enable disable that text you can um, get rid of that you can get rid of the shop name right you can um disable that you can disable all of this and you can get rid of the icons. You can really do whatever you want here. Um, but this is the only footer design right now, we, but we are bringing out more, okay? So don't worry, we're gonna be bringing back better ones because I understand not everyone's gonna wanna use this footer design, but it's nice and simple and it's a very clean one to use right now. Okay, so that's the footer. I'm just gonna do a refresh because I don't wanna save that. This is currently my test theme. Um, now, um, that's pretty cool, right? So that's the home page, that's the footer and stuff like that. Let's go to a product page and have a look what we have in the product uh, section, okay? Now, um, the product section is, um, you can, uh, we'll start with product pages first. Um, so you can change the color of the title here. You can change the color of the price and the price slash color. Oh, excuse me, I just answer my phone real quick. All right, guys, I just had to do a bit of a refresh, but anyway, you can, um, we'll get back to it. You can change all of the um, colors of the of the um, top one and the colors of your pricing and stuff, right? Second, we have um, swatches, which will come up here, and to get rid of this um, here, once you save, this will automatically disappear and your swatches will replace that, okay? Pretty cool. Um, you can also change the font size of your titles and your prices. Um, button, you can change the color of this button. Your, um, like, guys, the, the, the thing, the important thing is with your um, store is to make sure it flows nicely. Like, you don't want to have random weird colors on the front of your store and then you have a weird color, like a different color on your button. You want it to flow nicely. It is proven that people get put off by weird colors or something or a change on your site. And that's what a lot of themes have. A lot of themes have like those black writing on the front of the page and then they might have like a, a, a gray button or something on the, on the product page. It doesn't flow nicely. Um, and that's why we've designed it like this. So you can change that. You can change the um, button size um, on desktop and on mobile. So we've actually done a separate um, size there and you can change the um, text um, and the button as well, right? Um, and you can, um, what I'll do is I'll just do a refresh because um, the this has gone away. You have to actually um, do a save to get that back, but I'll just do a reload. And, um, so now what, what's going to come up is the um, timer. Okay, we'll just go down and sort out the timer for now. So the timer, um, you can edit all the hurry now items left. You can edit the limited items um, selling fast, right? So you can edit all of that. We have different styles for the um, timer and we also have different styles for the bar. And you can also um, change the bar color and the background. So if I just quickly change that to there and quickly change this to um, here and do a save on that. Um, it'll come back and the um, bars will now be changed, right? And once it loads up, there we go. Now we have a green bar um, 
and the gray background and we have the green button next I did the refresh right so now it kind of like flows quite nicely um, second we have um, trusted badges you can either enable top and bottom so I can take the bottom one away if I like I can take the top one away or I can have both now this is how it works if you want to upload a trust strip just upload it in one of the boxes if you want to upload separate images like you know icons or something just upload them in the separate boxes here and depending on the size they will lay out nicely um, along the thing here um, as well you can also change the size of the um, description here let's do that real quick um, where is it it's somewhere in here we just actually added that so um, I haven't had much of a play with it around with it yet so I might go like 20 and it should change the um, size of the description if I do a save all right, so I actually put in PX, which um, wasn't the right code. So you just you just do like the 30 and it'll change it for us. There you go, you can change the size of the um, description. I'll take that back down to 20 uh, and there we go, right? So you can change that dynamically on the, um, on the page. Um, you can also disable this um, timer on specific pages. That's um, easy to do. So if you wanna have it on one or the other, um, you can. Next, we have related products. Um, you can change the um, color of this so you can change that to the title you can change the um, actual price color you can change the compare price color right so you can do all that cool stuff as well and you can show and enable uh, disable um, related products it works off the category so whatever category you have uh, sorry collection whatever um, collection this phone's in it'll show different things from that collection you don't have to change anything all right so that's pretty cool that's um you don't really have to change much um, and we also have different styles. So these are actually for the um, sales tags, all right? So that's the product page. Um, and you have the usual social um, icons and um, stuff like that, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, there's not much really to say about the product page. It's just like any other product page, although we've added in um, scarcity timers, you can change the button colors and um, all of that good stuff, right? So now we have, we'll move on to the cart section. Actually, we'll go into some general settings real quick, actually. So. What we've done is we've added um, a pop-up coupon and this will pop up when um, someone comes to uh, your site and you can give away you can give away basically um, a discount for the person's um, email um, it might not work on the cart page I'll probably have to go back to the um, home page for this but it works um, on um, it'll, it just it's just like the apps and what it will do I probably cookied my session um, we'll wait we'll wait the five seconds but it might not show up oh there it is all right so you can edit all of this you can edit this you can edit the button and all of that good stuff right and then when someone puts in their email it would unlock the code for them and you can also have it on enable exit intent you can change all the colors um, and all of that good stuff right so that's pretty cool I'm just going to disable that though because um, I don't want to have that they want to export this theme um, I want people to be able to choose that themselves all right next we have the sales ticker which is a very common application used on most stores but we have built it into the app uh, into the theme itself very cool feature um, what happens is it will sh you, you create a specific collection so see I've choose, chosen the collection cool phone gear and it'll randomly just start showing up products from that collection at the time you've specified and check this out guys you can edit the whole thing you can edit the whole thing Whatever you want, look at this. Changing colors right before our eyes. Look at that. You can change everything on this as well. All right? And you can also disable the shadow if you like. All right? And look at that. It'll save again and it'll come up and it shouldn't have a shadow there. There, now there's no shadow. All right? So that's pretty cool. And you can also disable it on mobile. This is something that no app has. You guys probably don't know this, but when someone goes to your shop on a mobile and you have a sales ticker coming up, it blocks the buy now button. So we have given you the option to, to disable this on mobile, but enable it on um, desktop. Okay, so you don't get that problem. Pretty cool stuff. Um, very customizable with that ticker. You see, I've just changed it again, changed the header color as well. So I'm gonna go back and, because um, I don't wanna, oh, actually, I'm just gonna um, disable that real quick. And then um, I'm gonna go back and I'll probably do a refresh on this afterwards. Next we have this. So what you can do is you can um, you can set it on product page. So when someone makes a, um, when adds a product to their cart, it will just reload the product page. On cart page, it will take them to the cart page. 
on checkout page, you when someone adds a product to the cart, so you will be able to do it here because I um, have it enabled, and we go add to cart, it'll take me straight to the checkout. So I completely miss out um, the cart page, right? So it takes away one of the painful tasks of um, people doing abandoned carts. Um, and then, um, so that's that. Now, let's go see, there's so much stuff to do in this. Um, this is our test, um, test store here. Um, let's go back to the cart and now I'll show you what you can do in there, all right? There's heaps of stuff you can do in here as well. So we have um, a timer, scarcity timer. Um, you can also um, enable PayPal button and disable it for you guys that want that. You can disable and enable these pricings down here. You can add trust badges. You can change the color of this button, right? You can enable um, discount codes. So be like, hey, buy 10 products, get a discount type of thing. You can um, enable a button at the top, all right? And of course you can change the color of the button um, and you can change the text of the button and you can change the font size of the button and you can change the color of the timer as well. That'll come back when you do a save. And you can add, of course, add your trust badges down here. All right, so we've done quite a lot to that section as well. So that's the cart page. Next, we have um, the um, upsell, which works on tags, okay? So there will be a um, tutorial inside the members area, but basically you use the tag from another product and you can use the upsell and I'll show you that um, in action right now. We'll do a cart page one and you can also enable it on the um, checkout function as well. All right, but if I go to my product that I have it set up, up on, which is this one, all right, and I go to add to cart and then I go to checkout, it now has popped up a related product that I put, um, that I've linked to this product here via a tag. It's very easy, you can set it up in about 30 seconds. And um, you can do as many as you like, but I actually recommend you just do two, okay? Because, you know, people asking us to put all this crazy stuff in the upsell, but we're probably not gonna do it because you wanna have, you don't wanna have any distractions on the upsell. You simply want people to see this and click add to cart, and that's it, right? That's all you want people to do. Very, very simple, okay? So that is the upsell function. All right, guys, so that's pretty much um, everything in a nutshell. Of course, it has a currency converter, but it's not automatic right now. We will be adding that in. Um, there's the sales ticker there, as you can see. Um, I'm just gonna, um, actually, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna say, uh, enable that right, uh, disable that right now. But guys, I've seen some beautiful stores, like some really mint stores, like Primo stores. This theme is unique, it is one of a kind. Um, there's no one else on the market that has a theme like this okay that is completely customizable you can do whatever you want you can change whatever you want if i do a save on this it'll come back don't worry this is normal it'll come back as normal and you can change all the pricing on this everything you've got different style arrows um testimonial sections so much good stuff guys so much good stuff so that's it for this um you know this is just easier than me showing you a demo store because then you can get a feel of exactly how this theme works, exactly what you can do with it and all that sort of stuff. Um, I, pro I might do a demo store, but it's a bit hard because I am c consistently editing my stores for testing. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this um, and hopefully I'll see you inside the members area of Ecom Turbo.